No family, no friend. Meg jaw dropping as Sophie pours cold water on her I never be friend with you. Sophie had a bumpy start in royal life but ended up sharing a deep friendship with her late majesty Queen Elizabeth II. However, a source close to the countess says there's one member of the family with whom Sophie will never be the best of friends. A confidant of the Wessexes told the son, Sophie was one of the first to invite Meghan, on her own, to Bagshot for tea. But while the two royal wives got on perfectly well, the source added, Sophie could feel they were never going to become the best of friends. Meghan apparently had little patience for Sophie's advice, no matter how well-intentioned it might have been. The Countess knows how hard it can be to adapt to the unique culture of royal life. Prince Edward showed a flicker of his nephew Prince Harry's impatience with public interest in his personal life in 1996 when he snapped at a reporter who had just asked him if he had wedding plans, saying, if you shut up, mind your own business, and let me do it when I want, it's much more likely to happen. After they were married, Sophie drew widespread criticism after people claimed she was exploiting her royal status to boost her PR career. That came to a head when she was seen posing beside a Rover 75 at the Frankfurt Motor Show, having been paid £250,000 to advertise it. And in 2001 Sophie was snared by a fake shake sting operation in which a reporter posing as a wealthy Arab recorded her calling the Queen an old dear, and the wife of then Prime Minister Tony Blair horrid, absolutely horrid. At around the same time as the scandal, Prince Edward's company, Ardent Productions, was slammed for filming his nephew Prince William at university, in breach of privacy rules. The couple then deliberately dropped off the radar for a time, before re-emerging as full-time royals. And over time, the Countess of Wessex became a close confidant of the Queen. The emotions of the event got to many during the service, and they were seen wiping away tears with handkerchiefs. One of those affected was Sophie Wessex, and the Countess was pictured wiping her eyes as she sat in the car following what would have been a difficult day for her and her husband, Prince Edward. Prince Edward was also spotted wiping his face as his wife, Sophie, looked over to her husband. A moment later, Sophie grabbed herself a tissue and wiped away her tears. In one heartwarming moment, as members of the family were getting ready to leave, Sophie could be seen putting her arm on the shoulder of Prince George. Before the service began, the Earl and Countess of Wessex joined other members of the royal family as they walked in the procession as the Queen's funeral was brought into Westminster Abbey. As she arrived for the service, the mum of two was pictured wearing a black coat dress with subtle embroidered floral pattern all over which she teamed with a ladylike Trilby-style tilted hat. Her lapel featured a sparkling brooch, which had a significant meaning. Her eye-catching piece features two strawberries, in a mixture of black and silver diamonds. The last time Sophie wore it in public, she was in the presence of the Queen at Royal Ascot in 2014, which will make the fact she has worn it today at the state funeral all the more poignant. Sophie will likely be present later when the Queen is buried in a private ceremony attended only by family and friends.